guys welcome to my youtube channel house plan 2d drawing so this one this, this is what you get when you need to open archicad i'm gonna draw the plan real quick you click on wall you go right here to the settings dialog and uh it's initially it's gonna be 300 it's gonna be here so i've set it to 225 click okay and uh what you do you make sure that it's at this first um first one here you click on the you click on the first one and you draw that's it then um i'm gonna draw it so Remember, what I'm doing is I'm clicking from this edge here, up. Clicking from the edge up. Then I only make it to meet that side. So what I do now is, let me just take, yeah, so I can have the dotted line. Click on that, and yeah. So I have a, I have a box now. I have a box. So I'll start drawing the I'll start drawing the plan now. And remember, I won't I'll be I'll have to make this video to be fast because <laughs> because of the because of the drawing I'm doing I have to make it to be fast. So I but some I'm gonna mix I'm gonna give you guys some keynotes for beginners beginners. So what what I'm doing right here is I'm, I'm actually going it's same thing as I. I click on alt and it brings out this stuff brings out this stuff so i just click on this so i can pick the material i go to this point here and i drag the line you see dotted line transparent dotted line if i was to go here you see you see you see the transparent dotted line i see the numbers are reading distance x coordinates y coordinates so you click it can be three thousand it can be four thousand but i'm actually going here so i want here to be four thousand But I don't want it to. I don't want the wall to be like. I want this wall to be at this other side. So what I do now is, I click on this outside face and I click. I want it to be inside. And you see, it changes back to this side. So now I've actually gotten what I actually want. What I want to do next now, uh, before but before I do that, let me let me quickly draw something that's supposed to be a toilet that's supposed to be here. But I'll remind you, whenever you want to draw the plan, make sure you try and sketch something on paper or any any way you see fit, any way you feel like uh, is is easy, easier for you. 
if you sketch, sketch something on the paper then uh, you just uh, do what you do best and make sure you always have to always make sure you make a, a straight line it's very very necessary for you to make a straight line So what, what what I'm doing here now is I'm I'm I, this when I click on this um, this corner here when I I just I don't click I just wave my cursor over it it's in, it's in uh, circles around then I just move to this side to show that I want I want to uh, make a wall around the side around this junction or this junction so and I want the wall distance from from that circle over there I want this distance to be one eight I click enter then drag it and I want this one this uh, wall here I want it to be one two I click enter then I just drag it over here so it make it makes it work faster and simpler so now I think I'm I'm done with uh, what I want so now I want to put in the I want to put in windows and doors so I'm going to go to window 2 click on the settings dialog and I'm looking for sliding windows which is which is this and I want it to be 1 2 click on ok and I I put them in the middle sorry I put them in the middle Put all the windows in the middle. We won't be alone. I don't want to put some windows yet. Then this one, I want. Uh, let me give the toilet window six hundred. Six hundred. So I want to put the the doors now. I'm gonna to go to the settings dialog for the doors. You click on doors and go to settings dialog. I want 750 for the uh, for the for the toilet. And one nine hundred for the room doors. And for the door. What I want to do is go to settings, settings dialog. I'm going to scroll down. I want to do, I want the double door. Then this is one five. So I'll put it. I want it to be right there. And uh, a window here too, so that it could be cross ventilated. I want it to be cross ventilated. And also, I want here to be. I want here to be an opening here because I have to be an opening here for for this passage here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Windows to go to Settings dialog. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to look for scroll up. I think I want to look for empty wind. Uh, sorry, this is for Windows. Let me go back to door. Door Settings dialog for door. I'm going to go to empty door openings. I'm going to click on this, and I want it to be 1,000. It can be 900 or 1,000. You are the you are the architect. Yeah, so I'm going to click on the center, and there I go. 
so now I'm done with uh, all the openings I want uh, two windows here and also I want there to be a window here too I want there to be a window here too yeah so it's cross ventilated it's cross ventilated it's cross ventilated so what I want here next now is so I want there to be an hack here so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to document I'm going to go to document click on this line tool and then you select the dash uh, I want it to be black okay so I'm going to click on this box here well before I do that let me not get everything um, let me not get complicated but to make my work easier I use box but for this video I'm going to be using just a single line so I'm going to click on this side so I can get the straight line for this side Set. I'm going to offset two to five, but let me know. Let me not get fast faster, faster than. Let me just I'll hold down shift, click on this, and uh, I right click, and I and I click on drag a copy. I just click on it and I drag it down. And I click on two to five. What I'm gonna do next now is I'm gonna try to put the the pillar sign. Show that there's a pillar there. I might just do a quick, I might just do a quick something, a quick, a quick something. What I'm doing now is I'm clicking on spacebar. I'm clicking, if I click on spacebar now, it changes to a magic wand. So anywhere I click, it's just going to give me that, this color here. So I'm going to control Z. But before I do that, let me select the color I want. I want it to be a black color. So I'm going to click on that's already that that's um square is already formed so i'm gonna click there i want it to be an hack here in the dining for the dining not too close to that wall So what I want to do next now is I want to put in the lettering. I click on this text tool here and I drag it a little bit and I want it to be bedroom. Bedroom. Okay, so now I'm going to be dragging everything to the positions. Uh, so I'm going to drag bedroom here, and I'm going to drag a copy. I'm going to drag a copy, yeah. If 
before I finish, if I want to dimension, if now I'm, I'm going to dimension, I click on dimension tool, I click, I click on the outer there, and I click on this on the outer there, and I right click, I click on OK. Just want to dimension real quick. But never forget that you could dimension, you could do an automatic dimension. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a video of an automatic dimension in one of my videos very soon. So. So, because of time, I won't be dimensioning everywhere, but that is how to also dimension in uh, Archicad. So, this is this is it. This is how to draw uh, a two-bedroom design, two-bedroom bungalow in Archicad.